Good morning. Welcome to your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We have some humid and warm conditions across the region this morning. Going to see hot and humid conditions this afternoon. Heat and sea should stay just below 100 degrees today. Highs in the upper 80s, dew points in the lower and mid 70s. So that uh, gives the heat index around 95 to 100 degrees. We'll see a slight chance of some thunderstorms later this evening into about midnight uh, overnight tonight. So I could see some thunderstorms across the area, but not seeing a very high chance today. Looking at our sounding, freezing level around 14,000 feet, winds light in the low levels, less than 10 knots, and seeing our peak wind out of the west or west-northwest at 27 knots at 16,000 feet this morning. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, the remnants of Ida moving through the deep south, moving towards the mid-Atlantic region. We have a weak boundary that's going to give us our initiation or our trigger for our thunderstorms today, mainly north of the Wallops region. So taking a look at our Current satellite imagery, you can see we do have uh, most of the cloudy skies with that cirrus across the region this morning, even seeing some fair weather cumulus clouds you can see on the camera shot uh, this morning. So a fairly nice morning other than the heat and humidity. Taking a look at the uh, radar and zooming out, taking a look at uh, Ida or what was Ida moving through Alabama this morning, seeing that uh, area of rainfall extending north and west of the region with uh, more active convective uh, rainfall and activity south and east of the low, uh, very uh, reminiscent of a baroclinic system, and that will be continue to transition to a pro uh, post-tropical system as we move into the next few days. Looking at our uh, HER model for today, you can see we do have a few isolated thunderstorms possible this afternoon, mainly north of the region, and uh, giving us a slightly better chance of seeing some thunderstorms uh, this evening, it does have a cluster of thunderstorms moving well north and west of the region. Uh, can't rule that out moving through the area and being more widespread in coverage for uh, later this evening. So a 30% chance of a thunderstorm between 8 p.m. and 1 a.m. on uh, tonight into Wednesday morning. You can see here uh, the heavier rainfall with Ida or remnants of Ida moving well north and west of the region, seeing a possibility of some flooding and flash flooding in the Appalachian Mountains with this uh, tropical moisture moving through that area. Uh, once we move into Wednesday evening, that'll be our best chance of seeing some rainfall Wednesday evening into Thursday morning with some uh, bands of showers and isolated thunderstorms moving through the region. You can see here by Thursday morning, just going to see some uh, mostly cloudy skies, slight chance of an isolated rain shower with uh, most of the activity well north and east of our region. You can see here on the European model that system moving through. Going to see some windier conditions on Wednesday into Thursday as well as uh, stronger uh, or difference in our pressure gradient here. We're seeing about a 999 low moving through with the remnants of Ida. So can't rule out a gust uh, over 25 knots on our Wednesday or our Thursday. So you can see here the rainfall moving through. A very nice day for Friday into Saturday and into Sunday uh, looking like uh, dry conditions or less humid. And a slight chance of thunderstorm Sunday evening, but most likely uh, won't occur. Only about a 20-25% chance of that occurring. And then for Monday of next week, uh, we'll see... Another front starting to move through the region, a uh, slight chance of thunderstorm, but overall uh, looks like uh, the best chance of rainfall will be with the remnants of Ida moving through for the next seven days. So looking at our high today around 89 degrees, low tonight 75, seeing those slight chances of showers and thunderstorms uh, for this evening into the early overnight hours. Uh, slight chance we see heat index over 100, but most likely between 90 and 100, 95 and 100 degrees uh, for briefly this afternoon. Looking at our uh, terminal forecast, should see VFR conditions today. Um, overall, if we do see a thunderstorm overhead, we'll see those ceilings below 3,000 feet, but uh, expecting VFR conditions uh, today and really should see that through the next 24 hours. Slight chance of a rain shower after uh, five local Wednesday morning, but most likely that would just be a sprinkle. And our better chance of thunderstorms I mentioned comes 30% from 20 local to one local uh, tonight into Wednesday morning, and then a 20% before that from 1,800 local to 20 local. Our tides are currently running normal. And looking at our winds uh, briefly, just going to have fairly light winds today, westerly to southwesterly uh, for this afternoon, and then uh, seeing more variable winds early overnight, turning more southeasterly and increasing to 8 to 13 knots by tomorrow morning. For Wednesday, mostly cloudy and breezy, slight chance of rain shower, high of 85. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy overcast and breezy with rain showers, likely. Slight chance of thunderstorm as well, single low of 70. And for Thursday, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of rain shower in the morning, then partly to mostly sunny and slightly breezy in the afternoon. It'll be less humid and comfortable as well. See a high of 81 degrees. 
As I mentioned, best chance of rainfall comes Wednesday night to Thursday. Really look unlikely. We uh, won't see much rainfall from this system. Could see a heavier rain shower or two moving through, but uh, that access to the heavier rainfall will be north and west of our area. So for the next seven days, looking at the warmest day today, 89, 85 on Wednesday, 81 on Thursday. Some really nice conditions for a Friday and Saturday. Temperatures peaking out in the upper 70s. Overnight lows will feel really comfortable compared to what we'll be dealing with the last several weeks. 59 on Friday morning, 60 on Saturday morning. Then we'll see a return to more seasonable conditions and even above average temperatures once we move into early next week with those fronts moving through, seeing some compressional heating out in front of those fronts. So could see some uh, overnight lows in the 70s and uh, looking like our daytime highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. Well, that'll complete our 10 a.m. weather briefing today. I hope everybody has a great day. Back tomorrow morning, 8.15 and 10 a.m.